Hey guys, Dowder here with another tech video. Around, I'm gonna be installing an SSD into my 17 inch late 2011 MacBook Pro. I am also going to remove the logic board and check my heat sinks. Now I have not had any major problem with this severely overheating, but my computer is running too cool, said no computer engineer ever. So I'm going to go ahead, take a look inside, see how the um, heat sink compound was applied from the factory ensure that everything is okay in that regard and if not well, i'm gonna go ahead and clean it all up i'm gonna lap the heat sinks polish them and install arctic silver onto it so the first thing you want to do is remove the screws going around the chassis this is obviously the bottom of the chassis I'm using a number zero screwdriver, Phillips head. As some of you may remember from my previous video on my debut of this guy that I do have Apple Care warranty on here. And this video will also serve as video evidence that I do not damage anything in here while working on it. Or on the flip side, if I do damage something, well, I'll have it right there and I'll know for absolute certainty that it was my own fault. I will give Apple this, this credit for sure, but they really know how to engineer something to go together. There we go. There's that last screw. All right, so this is the bottom, which in my case is not very dusty at all. I'm very glad to see that. Not much in the way of dust here. I'll set this guy to the side. Now, if all you were intending to do was replace your hard drive, your next step at this point, your next step regardless of what you do at this point, should be to go ahead and disconnect your battery. There we are. And what you want to do is keep this thing out the way. You don't want this to hook back up. You want to make sure you have all your power disconnected before you do anything at all on here. So I'm actually going to take Let's see here. I should have a small piece of, or really just about anything here. I'll just put it in this thing. Just kind of bagging it. So if you were upgrading the RAM, I already have eight gigs in this, so I don't see the need to go up any higher than that. Be right here. You see, this is your logic board right here. This is the uh, super drive, which if I wanted to put in a separate hard drive in there, this would be the prime location to do that. All in my way. There we go. Nothing to worry about there now. Okay. So the hard drive does need to come out since I am going to be swapping this with the SSD. Um, so I'll go ahead and remove that. Now these you actually need double lot screwdriver for. These are extremely fine. You remove this bay, or this little hold down cage. Set that off here. Lift this up. Be careful as there is a connector to it. Remove the connector very carefully. And there it is. I had a 75, 750 gig, 9.5 millimeter, 7200 RPM Hitachi hard drive. Now these little mounts have to come out, and those appear to be Torx. So let me get my Torx screwdriver. Once you've removed the hard drive, you want to remove the four T6 Torx screws that hold this guy in place. Set this off to the side and now we will install our Samsung SSD. Take these screws that you just removed from the old hard drive. You want to screw them in. They 
just need to be snug. Don't go over tighten them or anything crazy. Just as a bit of a note, the Samsung drive is much, much lighter than the old Hitachi. The old Hitachi drive does not state, oh, there it is, 800 milliamp versus 1.7 amp that this is rated for. So the Samsung may actually draw much more power than the 7200 RPM drive. That's interesting. Now what we want to do is pop our connector back on. Make sure it's fully seated. You'll see the two holes that you'll slide those two pieces back into. Push that down, and then we'll bolt the mounting bracket back into place. <clears throat> Reconnect the battery, put the top back on, or the bottom back on, and if all you're intending to do is just swap out your hard drive, you're basically finished.